Welcome back to part number 29 of Let's Play Need for Speed Pro Street. We're going for Ray Krieger and we're going for the next grip event on the road to beating him. This is the second of two event uh, days before we can then finally face him. And this event day has one of the best races ever. It's this one here. It's just straight forward driving at max speed for four laps. Really easy, but really fast done too so you're gonna see this race is kind of kind of boring but also kind of fast done so i really like them and that's the only thing that really counts to your performance and we know that art skyline is definitely one of the best of those cars here see you guys even can do nitrous boost here even though sometimes or actually sometimes i almost never use it Because, uh, yeah, if you really go max speed uh, for the curves, it's really dangerous. Driving at almost 400 miles per hour, not miles per hour, kilometers per hour. And we're getting easy advantage here already. Almost two seconds. Yeah, that's it for this race. How I can explain so far, there's not really much to see or tell you. Uh, what's going on in general in my life? Tomorrow, the day I'm recording this, it's Sunday. I'm gonna head off direction France from Switzerland um, for a small business trip, four days, then on Thursday I'm coming back. And yeah, then Friday, Saturday, it's time for um, changing apartments. So, pretty busy week. Now, this weekend I'm preparing a lot of videos just to be sure that uh, everything's fine for you to watch that you have enough content while I'm away because I'm not gonna be able to really do much there because I'm just gonna chill in my hotel room and yeah I took my I will take with me my Nintendo Switch like this I can play some games maybe grind some Rocket League or also uh, I bought Pokemon Sword I guess since I'm a big fan of Pokemon since I'm a child uh, yeah gonna play that a bit for killing time because there's nothing really much to do in the city for me there except for going out in the evening and eat some dinner but the rest yeah I'm on my own not nothing really much to do but hey sometimes that's how it goes and then sometimes I will also have a lot of free time thanks to this because actually tomorrow when I'm leaving, my workday starts as soon as I'm in my car for driving there. So really, really soon. And it's going to be a long workday, which gives me a lot of extra hours, basically. And here we are. Two minutes, four laps, done. One minute ahead. New track record, of course. And a lot of points for this race day. And as you can see, there's another one of these. It's Time Attack. On the same track against the same cars and someone has a skyline with more horse power than mine even though mine is completely tuned up don't like that but that's how it goes here we go not gonna stand a chance those guys the plan here is actually just to perform at least one really good lap time with say true nitrous boost on each of the straight parts of this lap and then uh, yeah we should be able to just defeat everyone then we also should be already half through this race day at least i hope so i'm not gonna see that right after the event depends on the target lap time and the lap time we're gonna be able to do i don't know why but i feel like those guys in front of me are going to be really really difficult to beat yep Actually one second uh, slower than they were, that's no problem, we're gonna now hit it on the second lap, way easier than they do. I believe we're going for the nitrous boost, going for the max velocity with our car. Going closer to those guys in front of you. And letting charge up the nitrous boost and then as soon as we're again on the straight part, we're hitting another nitrous boost. And I guess we should be able to beat the lap time. And we did it. I was close. I do not want to crash a tree on the plus uh, kilometers per hour. This could be really dangerous. 
not sure if this guy that is able to beat my previous best lap time, so we're gonna try to beat his and actually our lap time once more. But since we just passed by, uh, we should be able to defeat him easily. He's not gonna be able to outperform us. We win, easy win, let's go. Two other minutes done, I guess, or just one and a half since we have a really good lap time. That's it! Crack record broken, we won. We can perform like this uh, two more events and this event then will be done too. We have to dominate it if we just quit now. There's a... a no. Grip class, sector shooter, ten attack. We're gonna go for this grip race here first. It's one of the not too curvy track races here. Tracks, race tracks. Let's go, thanks, Miss G Effect. Still like how they have the port focus here in this uh, event and high performing premium event day where only the best drivers and best cars are. Ooh, that's this track here, I know it really well. Yep, that was bad. That was bad, but still, um, there's nothing, there's nothing lost yet. We're getting just by, losing around those curves, we're really annoying. If I'm not completely wrong, wrong it's one of those racetracks where you have a pretty big, uh, yeah. Take that deal like this, we have just a track where we can go straight ahead. Which gives us a lot of advantage and also spare uh, time compared to our uh, opponents. Since, yeah. This shortcut really changed a lot. Okay, this shortcut, or actually this curve was driven really bad by me. I'm sorry. Nice. Hitting curves again. Nice. Actually, yeah, I like this track a lot, I have to say. It's, in theory, it seems to turn a lot, but actually it isn't that bad. Especially since there's one shortcut that really... If you hit it correctly on the first run, you can just pass by the other laps. Oh, someone told me this car. Interesting. Just like this, and you're getting a big advantage. There's a lot of distance to your enemies. 51 seconds for the first two laps each more or less. That's a good time and we're sure gonna be able to break another track record. And I'm just driving completely off the racetrack again but who cares it's in for speed even though it's the one e for speed who was supposed to be official races where you can just cut the race track however you like to. Oh there's the guy crashed. Hello. How did he crash there? Here we go. 12 seconds of advantage, that's huge. And definitely we don't have to worry about something. That was really good. Yes, we're finishing with another 50 second slap. Ah, that was really good. 240, nice time. Whoa, over a minute advantage, 10,000 points. So one more race and we're gonna be done with this race day. Yep. Uh, we're going for... I don't know. I'm not sure. Grip class. If those two here, which both seem to turn a lot. It's like to shut out a time attack. Or just a grip class. And we're going for the grip class. Because sector shutout is sort of... Sometimes if you're not beating your records over and over again. You're not getting a lot of points for the event. Especially if you do not win. Stay hydrated at this point, guys. Bring some water. Take care of your health state. Okay. That turned a lot. See over there, my friend. Okay, we're again cutting those curves completely how we like it. And here we go. 
this long straight part here is really cool to drive, but actually if you have a lot of enemies in front of you, those opponents who are just blocking your way, it's really dangerous and the chances to crash your car are actually pretty high. But we did it like this, we just got through them, made our way, now say we see you at the finish line my friends. Yep, yep. Ryan Cooper's going off. I like those racetracks here. You can just drive however you like. It doesn't matter too much. As long as you see more or less where you want to head towards too. And then this part here where you just go full speed and then you have to hit your brakes really hard because if you do not, you're really gonna crash. And if you do it right you pretty fast and you get a lot of advantage in time again i also have to say that the scavenger is completely overpowered here compared to the other cars even though some of them are statistically more horsepower than mine but uh, i guess that doesn't matter too much here in deep for speed sometimes okay okay um that was bad don't drive like this Disclaimer, not driving like this, pay attention, stay safe, Drive. driving races at all is actually a good idea, but yeah, I don't have to tell you that, I mean, you're old enough out to know that driving like this is dangerous. Here you go, race day one, I hope so, at least. Yes, 5000 cash, track record broken. And dominated! Stage 4 drive train for our Evo, the car I do not want to use. That's interesting, but hey, we take it. And we have the next race day with more races who are a little bit more complicated. Actually, since we already got it, we may just want to head over and tune the Evo a bit. And with Tune the Evo a bit, I mean, we create a new blueprint, making all the upgrades it already has. Then we go for the last race event. You are actually a pretty cool car. Wait, you didn't have that? Okay, the Evo maybe is really a good car. That, that explains why we weren't able to turn that good. Wait, let me tune it. I mean, we have so much money, it doesn't even care matter anymore gonna go for that full package on everything hit him with a good cool wheels like random these here okay they're not that cool but okay max tall max large no not this one here this one here this one here neither Again, as tall as possible. Angled as possible. This one here we do not care about. It like this. Go for a body kit. Okay, the other ones kind of suck. Go for the white body here. That looks good. On the hood. I'm gonna go for this one here because I really like it. We're not gonna lose much time with optical tuning, just saying already. Just gonna go here for those uh, body parts. Good spoiler. Yeah, this one here, but this is this one here fits the style really well. I would say as high as possible, as long as possible, and also as large as possible again. And then giving it some angle to have more pressure on the rear axle, rear wheels. Theoretically, I'm not sure if this game really considers it. No roof scoop, this is not cool. Exhaust tips, yep. Something that fits the style of the car, this one here, also as big as possible. Well, okay, it's racing seats we do not care about. And here we're just gonna go for a cool color, for example. I don't know. 
Okay, this looks so terrible. We're gonna use that. The wheel paint is gonna be black, so... Um, black chromatic. Um, apply paint. And apply paint. Except... No way we're just gonna go for something really stupid. Like, for example, I don't know. Camouflage. No camouflage looks terrible. Graffiti. But there are some sort of uh, two colors, say, uh, two tone. Okay, they look terrible. I just want to have one simple thing that fits the car well. Is there nothing that really fits? Okay, you know what? We're just going to leave it like this. Really simple, nothing too much to care about. We're going to tune it a little bit. Uh, suspension, just a little bit harder on everything. Uh, the right height is going to be as low as possible. Front tire pressure, um, we want to have it a little bit lower and a little bit higher on the rear tires. So we do not change, camera no either, castle no. Steering response ratio is stiff a little bit more. Engine, which is gonna... Actually, we can cam time a little on advanced. Drive train, we're gonna go all the way down with the gear ratios to, to make a quick acceleration. And then... Just like this, I would say brakes. We want to have a little bit more on the front, but the brake pressure should be high. Actually, we're leaving this as default. Handbrake pressure, we're just leaving it like this. That's good how it is. Update blueprint, yes, and we're gonna try it. We lost some time, but actually, we wouldn't be we wouldn't have been able to really. Uh, Finish this race day here in one episode and then directly go for Ray Krieger. So I guess we're just gonna make one more race here with our newly tuned Evo. Seeing if it performs better than in the last episode or the two episodes before when I tried it. If I tried it, I'm not even sure if I tried it once. Because I'm actually supposing that the Evo is kinda good car since car from Rio, the Rip King, and uh, the Showdown King. Okay, you guys driving pretty aggressively. Okay, this is kind of sort of blind car, it looks really cool on the car. The sound is really cool. Okay. Um, turning still uh, doesn't feel as good as I hoped it would, but... Uh, I have to get used to the car, of course, so... I'm not taking a final uh, conclusion here about the performance of the car in curves. Because last time I tried it, I was sure... It, I actually assumed that it was completely maxed even in terms of suspension, but it wasn't, so... This means that now it should have a way better performance for turning and handling in general. So we're gonna see that in a second. I really love the sound of that car. And here we go, heading first driver's boost. Trying to not uh, die in this curve here. It's actually a really long drawn curve, so it doesn't turn too much. And the Evo is kinda... feels really direct. That's what I tuned before, maybe I should have haven't adjusted that too much. Thanks, bro. I would have bypassed you so easily, but thanks. Why well, still not winning? There's still someone in front of us. And the Evo looks completely demolished. But uh, you can do it, I can feel it. It's a good car. It's a really good car, actually. If it wasn't the car of the Showdown King, I maybe would have bought it also for myself before already, but... I don't like using cars that the Showdown Kings already own. At least not for the same category, even though Rio uses it for every category, so it's kind of pointless. But you'll get what I want to say, I guess. At least I hope so. The 
this car is really going uh, fast. We have to hope that he's missing at least one curve or something. Okay, it's just after this curve. If he misses it, we're gonna grab him by his ass cheats and passing him by, but we're gonna miss it too, so um I didn't say anything else. But come on, Lilivo. I'm expecting much from you. Okay, yes, five seconds where we're not gonna beat him. Interesting. That was really interesting, I was expecting much more, but uh, yeah, 6 seconds almost, you know it's still way faster than target time, so I guess he was just a, one NPC who definitely outbeats you. At this point, I would say thanks for watching part number 29 of Let's Play Need for Speed Pro 3. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, hit that bell to never miss any future uploads, I'm Caponator, I hope to see you back soon for another video, ciao! Honey, I'm a perfect 10, whoa, whoa, honey, I'm a perfect 10, whoa.